what makes Melbourne the world's most livable city is that it puts people in place first. Slowly but surely we've taken the cars out of the city centre and that's been really critical for us. Melbourne's livability I think comes out of an attitude towards urbanism. That urbanism actually produces a really lively, vibrant, dynamic city. We understand how commerce, culture, design and sustainability all come together. Livability is about you being able to get to work really quickly, being able to get home really quickly, be able to come out of your house, be able to access a public open space and access community facilities. That's what Melbourne does well. Melbourne has this unique sort of blend between being very proud of its Victorian heritage, but it's also developed a very contemporary attitude. It's not afraid to take chances, it's not afraid to experiment. The role that the design professions play is really critical to Melbourne because we work together, we share together, we collaborate, we co-design. A conscious effort by the government, by the private sector and the community working together to enhance Melbourne's livability. And it's through this process that we start to see it's design plus, plus, plus. Well, I think what's significant about Federation Square and why we would be so proud of it is the way that it has really changed the city. It's really provided that cultural, social and civic stage for the city, something that really didn't exist before Federation Square. Some of the key projects we've worked on the city of Melbourne is really um, exactly where we're standing now, the laneways of Melbourne, especially Flinders Lane and De Grace. And we worked on this for on and off for 15 years. And the importance of creating intimate environments where people connect. It takes a community to create a great place. Bullock Park has been a key project for Docklands in terms of livability. Docklands before didn't really have that many what we call green public spaces and it also didn't have community facilities like the library. So this was a great all-round project to provide community facilities a diverse, culturally rich, usable public space. Melbourne's a city of discovery. It's a city of layers of complexity. It's all these small interventions that make a great city. 